Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here from Paradise Garage and LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. If you guys can quickly let me know if you guys can hear and see me, type in the chat. Also, if you're a Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP member, type in the chat, you know, if you're a VIP and where you're tuning in from. Um, and then we can get to the auto body Q and A. I couldn't make it on Monday. My bad. I had an emergency. Something came up. Uh, yesterday I was busy. Something came up, so we moved it to today, Wednesday, um, Wednesday evening. So type in the chat super quickly, guys. Let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Um, and if you're a Learn Auto Body VIP member, type in VIP. If you're a total newbie, never been on before, type that in also. And um, I'm here for you to do quick auto body Q&A. Uh, I know a lot of people are used to jumping on Monday evenings. So if we don't have many people jumping on today, we're going to you know, end it early so I can continue doing what I'm doing and do other things. Um, again, I'm only here to help you guys get to the next level with auto body, doing some Q&A for you guys. And, um, you know, if, if the, the demand is not there, why am I going to be wasting my time to be here? <laughs> so other than that, um, you guys can just start typing in the chat. Let me know if you guys can hear and see me and also type in where you're tuning in from. Uh, also, I've been getting some emails from VIPs saying that they're not getting uh, the notifications when we go live. And it's really, it's not on my part because I will send out emails when we go live. Like we just sent out an email, I think like 20 minutes ago. But you need to be subscribed to the YouTube channel. To get the YouTube notifications, you got to be subscribed to the YouTube channel. And then also make sure you click the bell and then turn the post notifications to all. So when we go live or when we put a new video up, you guys get them. So it's that setting with you and YouTube, not with you and me um, for the YouTube notification. So just as a reminder, you know, you might want to unsubscribe and then resubscribe and then make sure you hit that bell. What's up, Rich Reese? Tuning in from the UK. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Um, let's see. Okay, so for all you newbies tuning in for the first time, how many newbies on for the first time? Um, you might want to go here to grab some free training. Tony here in my garage. I'm going to put a link here. <laughs> we got... Um, we got JD in the house. <laughs> we got Embry Smith. What's going on? Not the gun, but it's mostly the painter. I agree. Curtis. What's up, Curtis? What's up, JD? <laughs> we got Allie in the background. Making a bunch of noise. Curtis, bare metal, primer, sealer, then paint, one-step paint. Are you asking a question or, or telling me what you're doing? Not sure what you're, what you're, uh, what you're stating there, Curtis. Uh, again, guys, we're going to be on for maybe 20 minutes, give or take. Any auto body and paint questions you got, type it in. Try to be as detailed as possible, and um, I can help you out. Embry Smith from New York. What part? <laughs> JD says, it's not the size of your hammer, but how you throw it all at the nail. Hilarious. Oh, God. Ed Fester from San Antonio, 102 degrees. I had a friend of mine just came in from Florida last night. He just stopped over the house. <laughs> and he's like, Florida was freaking hot as hell. He hated it. Muggy, hot. And uh, he's like, it was like a night and day difference when he got off the plane back to Hawaii here. Hello from Cali, Mesa, California. Kevin O'Brien. Hey, Tony, VIP member, but still a newbie. 
What's going on? I have had issues with tape lines pulling paint up. Any advice? Yes. Um, and as I always state in my videos in VIP or some of my YouTube videos, you want to unmask your paint job about hour and a half to two and a half hours after you paint it. You don't want to wait until it's fully cured and dried when unmasking. So that's probably your issue is you are waiting till it's fully cured to unmask your car. You want to do it while the paint is still, I, I wouldn't want to say wet, but you know, while it's, while it's still wet, <laughs> but not tacky, you know, it has to be set up to the touch where you could kind of graze your, your fingers on it and it not stick. You know, that's, that's why I show you to, to touch the tape to see how it's setting up. And I got something here. I got bit the other day and it's just been itchy like hell. So, so yeah, you want to unmask your car about an hour and a half to two and a half hours after you paint while it's still wet. That's the trick. Um, let's see. It's hot. Unlike the cold NFT bear market. Well, I mean, I mean, we're in a, a complete crypto bear market, but I think it's a good time and it might become even a better time, hopefully in the next month, um, to, to get some more of your high conviction coins, you know, like DCA in man. <laughs> Jason's just retarded. Sometimes you just got to look at it before you unmask it, which is true. So true. You got to look at it. Um, what is the cure for paint crazing? Bare metal start again. What is the cure for paint crazing? I don't understand what you're saying. Dude, guys, my hand has been acting up like a nerve in my hand. I don't know if it's because I'm on my laptop lately, but like, like the nerve in my hands, like when I'm on the laptop, sometimes like my fingers will just like twitch like that. I hate it. It's been doing it for like two days. I hate it. Okay, here we go. We got a legit question here. Um, should I just do primer or use a sealer then paint on bare metal? 08 Chevy. Oh, my wife is home. I would do a 2K filler primer. Use like a DTM, which is a direct to metal primer over your metal spots. So use a DTM 2K filler primer. I'm using a product uh, called ECG, European Genuine Coatings. You can see the orange can here. It's a DTM filler primer. Okay. And that's a good foundation to, uh, to just paint directly over after you sand it with 400. All right. Okay. So Rich says cracks in paint. All right. Let's see. What was your question again? What's the cure for paint crazing bare metal? Start again. Yeah, sure. Sand it all down. Get it down, like use 80 grit, get it down to metal, and then put a nice filler, 2K filler primer on it. Fill it up. You could even use an epoxy if you want, if you're not using a direct to metal DTM. All right. Um, if I paint the car at 85 degrees, do I have to use slow hardener? I would definitely. Um, if you're doing a complete paint job, I would always use a slow hardener. Always, 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 because when you use a slow hardener, it gives your, your paint to flow out pretty much. You know, it flows out the orange peel, you get less orange peel and it's just better for the paint. So you always want to use a slow, slow hardener, uh, Oh shit, cracks. Okay, I, I said that. Uh, like lines that reaction. Okay. Um, like lines, is that a reaction? 
So what are you saying, Rich Reese? Like you painted something and then you got cracks in it afterward? Um, it could be a chemical reaction if you're doing new paint. If you're doing new paint and it starts cracking, it could be uh, it could be your primer. I'm not sure, you know, exactly what products you're using, but it could be the primer. Um, again, you got to give me a little bit more details on what's going on, but yeah. Uh, Robert says, hey, Tony, can you show us how you trigger the spray gun while you are painting? While I was painting for the first time, I just pulled the trigger all the way in and it looked like I over sprayed. Um, yeah, you're talking about like as you as you spray. So at the end of every panel, you want to just kind of like let go of your trigger to where only air is coming out. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you do it. If you watch my painting videos, I think you'll get a better idea. Um, are you a VIP, Robert? Just watch my painting videos as I paint and then listen because you can hear. You can pretty much hear the difference also. DTFs are my favorites. What is DTF, man? I'm like, I don't know what you're saying. What is DTF? <laughs> Probably some weird acronym. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Why would the... Hold on. Why would the epoxy be wet on wet or... Or would the epoxy be wet on wet or wait till epoxy dry? Uh, you should flash it, at least let it dry. Epoxy should be dry, not fully dry. It could probably be like, you know, 20 minute flash time, 15 minute flash time. I bought the LV21 and I got tiger stripes on my trunk, 67 Chevelle. What type of paint are you doing? Metallic? It, you could get tiger stripes with any spray gun. Um, I think it's probably, it could be the spray gun, right? Um, if you're getting tiger, tiger stripes, unclean spray gun, clog tips could give you a heavier paint on the top, middle or bottom, depending could be any gun. Um, or it could just be the way you're spraying. Um, cause you could have a perfectly working spray gun and still get tiger stripes because you're just not spraying it correctly. Right? So when you're doing heavy metallics, pearls, flakes, you want to make sure you crisscross your painting. So you're, you know, you're going one way and then you go this way, right? Yeah, sometimes you just got to look at it. <laughs> What is the proper process and material when co converting chrome rims to black? Well, you could sand your chrome with 150 grit, give or take 150. Um, I wouldn't go finer than that because you're going to want to put a filler primer on top of it and then basically sand out your filler primer and spray base coat clear coat. It's pretty simple. Um, you could even go as far as 80 grit if you really want to scuff it up. But anywhere from 80 to 150 is all you need. Um, you could use an epoxy primer on top of that if you want, or you can just use a regular 2K filler primer or a direct-to-metal uh, primer and just flatten it out, sand it good with 400, and paint it. I mean, it's really not a big deal. Thank you. I will do that. Last time I used fast hardener and the clear coat came out dry and orange peel. Yeah, that's the reason <clears throat> you want to make sure you're always doing um, using a slow reducer, especially for a complete large paint job, you know. <clears throat> um, when doing a two stage paint and four different colors, how long before you wait in between hanging colors well you wait until the paint's pretty much set up so normally base coat will set up and be dry in like 30 to 40 minutes okay so you know i would if you're going to be masking i would wait an hour so you could spray one color you know about 40 45 minutes depending on the heat if you're painting in like 80 
80 to 90 degree weather, then you'll be dry in 30 minutes. You know what I mean? And then um, as soon as your base coats are dry, 45 minutes, give or take, when is when you can start masking it. Okay. And when you're masking, I would use fine line tape to do your graphics. And then I would use a less, you know, adhesive masking tape. I wouldn't use like really good masking tape. A good masking tape is the blue painter's tape that you can get at like your home center, Home Depot, Lowe's or whatever, because it doesn't adhere the stuff. What, what brand is this? Scotch Bright. Okay. This, it's not as tacky as um, my regular three quarter inch masking tape that I use for basic masking. You know what I mean? Because if you put something that has really good adhesion on it, man, sometimes you could peel your paint, especially if your, um, your foundation, if you didn't sand great, if you didn't sand good, it could peel off. What do you need, Maya? Needle nose plier? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like what? Like a big one? Small one. Like super small. Smallest one you have. Is that okay? Bent? Yeah. Or you need it straight. Here's Maya. <laughs> She's getting big. Getting really big. She gained six pounds in one month. Yeah, I did. Um, what's up, Tony? Have you ever used that power glide coat? Powder guide coat? Nah, I don't use it. I mean, it's a bunch of new crap. If you want to use it, use it. I use a lot of times I'll just use primer as a guide coat because I can see, you know, you could you could even just use primer, guys. But sometimes if you're doing hardcore body work and you need to really see, I would just use a flat black spray can. And that's what I use. Powder coat. I mean, it's just a new product you know, marketing, you know, new crap to sell you guys more stuff. So, it's so, you know, you can try it. I'm not a big fan, never used it, never, you know, whatever. Tony Jr. here in the garage. <clears throat> Yo, so how, how, how hot is it over there, uh, JD? I know you're in Nevada. What's your, what's the temperature over there? Sweating your kahunas off? Um, does slow reducer in base make a difference or mediums? Okay. Um, I really don't see a difference. I, I normally use medium for all of my paint when it comes to base coat. <clears throat> I very rarely use slow. I always get medium, <clears throat> but I do use slow for my clear coat. <clears throat> I use medium and slow. So if I'm doing a touch up or a quick, you know, quick partial paint job, you know, fender or something, I'll, I can use a medium. But if I'm doing a larger paint job, I like to use slow. <clears throat> uh, when using single stage, how many coats can be sprayed? Uh, two to three coats. Normally, if you lay your two coats on like a wet to heavy, two coats is fine. So like, you know, the good van project that we did, it's basically, I did two coats. There it is right here. Haven't washed it since I painted it six weeks ago and it's just sitting, I got bird crap on it, you know, whatever. But, uh, it looks good. People like it. Ah, oh, it might rain. Crazy. Yeah, it's, dude, it is, it is beautiful out here today. Look at it. There's the Tessie. There's uh, we're doing a little bit of um, landscaping. Had a big hump over here. We're kind of taking the hump out over here, kind of like, you know, grading it out. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful out today, man. I wanted to hit the beach this morning, but everyone was sleeping. Sup, tuning in from Guam. Okay. I'm about to hit a do a little mini workout after this. <clears throat> Cloudy all day, about 95. That's still pretty hot. I think it's what's the temperature here? 
Hey, thanks for that. I can drop off the keys in your mailbox. Shit. Okay. Yes, I am home, period. Also, let me know what I need to do, period. I have no idea, period. Now, one of my neighbors is going to Europe and he wants my daughter to watch their dogs for two weeks. Um, what was I saying, guys? Oh, the temperature here, 81. Okay, tuning in from Guam. Did I ever use Reface? What do I think? I never used it. Never used it. Uh, planning to clear coat my sentimental car project. Is it okay to use Acme Finish One Clear Coat or use a more expensive brand? Um, man, it depends on your budget. If you feel like you want to spend three hundred fifty bucks on a, a gallon kit of clear coat, which will give you more than that, right? Because you're going to be mixing it. Um, then do it. Like if you're going to go high end and get a good clear coat, I would go with House of Color um, or PPG, um, Deltron. They make a really good clear coat. Um, but as far as like, man, I've had like outstanding results with Acme by Sherman Williams. This clear coat is a really good clear coat, about $100 for a gallon kit, and it comes out really nice, really glossy. No dieback, which means um, after you spray it, you wait a week, and then the, the clear coat looks drier. Sometimes clear coats take time to cure out, and then um, with cheap clears, it could look good for the first couple of days. Two weeks later, it looks dull. Okay, Then you got to color sand and buff it. You know, but color sanding and buffing will fix that problem. If you use a higher end clear coat, you spray it. It looks glossy, looks like glass. Two, three weeks later, two, three months later, it still looks like glass. Like you don't, it doesn't die back. They call it, right? It doesn't dry out and shrivel up. <laughs> um, but cheaper clear coats tend to do that. But I haven't noticed that with Acme, which is a cheap clear coat. You know, it's inexpensive. It's like 110 here in Hawaii. I'm sure you guys get a little cheaper. But uh, anyway, guys, hit the like button if you haven't. I'm going to drop a couple links. We'll answer a couple more questions, then I'm outie. So for all you newbies just tuning in, um, go here to learnautobodyandpaint.com to get some free training. You could download some guides. We got some videos for you by email, blah, blah, blah. It's all there. Um, and there's going to be a special upgrade to VIP if you want to join us in VIP. If not, whatever. Um, Zula.com is doing a special sale. Um, it looks like there's 17 hours left. Some Father's Day sale. You're getting um, a whole cup system for free, which is like $130 value. You're getting the uh, disposable cup system, 30 bucks off all spray gun. It's a pretty good deal. So you guys might want to check that out. There's like a few hours left on that. And then for some of you guys in here interested in crypto, you can follow me on this newsletter here, CryptoWaters.com. Follow me there. Um, I'm not releasing content yet, um, but, you know, as soon as I, I'm ready to, I will, and you'll be on that newsletter. So if you're interested to, uh, with crypto and you want to make money with it and put some skin in the game, then follow me there. If not, whatever. Carolyn says, I just ordered the X88. Super stoked. This is my go-to gun right here. Just used it and my I didn't clean it that well, so I got to clean it. Look at it. It's kind of like it needs, it needs a cleaning. But um, actually, my buddy that just stopped over today, he picked up um, I had two of these laying around and he's like, Tony, I, I got to paint the car. I need some spray guns. Do you have any? I'm like, yeah, dude, I got two of these X88s. He goes, he's like, I want one for me and I want one for my son. So make a review on stylish studs. <laughs> JD, do you still have any stylish studs? VIP from Big Island. I just laid down some base on a hood and I got sandpaper, a sandpaper finish. 
First time that's happened. 26 PSI, six inch distance from panel. Um, it seems like you're spraying it on dry, man. Like that's the only thing. Um, I would make sure. So like if you're spraying paint on dry like that, it's because just make sure you're mixing it correctly. Make sure it's mixed correctly, number one. And sometimes if you're spraying with too much, too high of a pressure, it'll dry the paint out before it even hits the panel. And that happens with primer a lot. I haven't really noticed it with base coat, but, um, and make sure you got wide open fluid flow, you know, make sure your needle is out all the way and then you tighten it. Right. So I, I like to back this out all the way, squeeze my trigger and then tighten it. Right. Right. When it touches, you know, you got wide open, wide open fluid flow. Okay. Um, and, you get dry paint because you're not getting enough material on the panel fast enough. Okay. It's drying out and then getting on your panel. So it's high pressure. When you spring a high pressure, that'll happen or not enough material coming out. Okay. Not enough material coming out. You got a little bit of material coming. It dries, it dries in the air and then it lands and it gets dry. So check that it's mostly, um, your paint mixture or your spray gun settings. All right. Sherman Williams has an ATX clear that's on sale and it's good. So check it out. I don't know. Never used it. Nah, I flipped them for a gain. <laughs> awesome. Oh, shit. Uh, what is the primary benefit to flow coating a car? Is it a better shine? So Flow coating, guys, is basically, um, you know, doing a paint job, putting two coats of clear on it, letting it dry, you know, waiting a week or two, cutting it down with 800 grit sandpaper, and then putting two more coats of clear coat. Usually that's done on custom paint jobs only um, because normally two coats of clear is all you need. Okay. It's enough to even give you room to color sand and buff. Um, and normally it's done over custom paint jobs. Like I said, candy paint jobs to make your paint look deeper. Um, so if you got like some candy going on, usually they'll do two coats, two or three coats, let that sit and dry. Um, maybe you'll have some metallic in it or whatever. Right. And then you got to flow coat it to just make the paint look deeper. Um, and it's pretty much it, you know, to give you a better gloss and, and, and give you more paint on there. That's pretty much the, the, the result of flow coating. All right. Um, I don't know if you meant to skip my question about the rusted truck bed floor, but I'm not a VIP, Tony. Um, I did not see your question. Okay. Have you ever repaired a truck bed floor? Yes, many times. I bought a truck, didn't realize the floor was rotted bad under the liner. Pretty big spots. I can only find Ford and Chevy replacement panels. It's a Nissan. Uh, so yeah, you're probably going to have to do some sheet metal work. I would just grind it out as much as you can clean it out. Um, we do have rust repair videos in VIP that shows you the whole process, how to treat the rust. Um, I don't think I have, you might just want to YouTube, YouTube it. Maybe some other guys got some videos on that. I don't have anything except for in VIP. Um, but you're going to want a sheet metal, you know, you might want to use a spot welder like, like the one I got here. Uh, to, to basically patch up your holes, weld it up, and then put some body filler on it. And then you could, uh, I would just Raptor line it, you know, with some heavy duty uh, Raptor liner. All right. So yeah, Kitas Bloom, we have sheet metal videos in VIP that shows you how to use this machine. Um, so you might want to, and I think we did a truck, we did some truck rocker panels in VIP and an old, uh, model T, but, um, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I don't know what this dude is talking about here. It amazes me how much disinformation I provide. Wow. Like what? Anyway, guys, I'm going to drop the links again, right before I leave. If you want to grab some free training, go right here to learnautobodyandpaint.com. 
Um, and then here are the links again to Zula.com for the sale. And then if you guys are interested in crypto, I'm going to drop this link one more time. We can sign up there because it is 1.30 and I am outie. Thank you guys for tuning in. Tony here in my garage from Paradise Garage, hanging out. And I'll see you next week, Monday, um, 7 p.m. Eastern. So that's Monday, 1 p.m. my time. I couldn't make it that this past Monday, but it's usually normally every Monday. All right. Yeah. So whatever. Yeah, maybe he should start his own channel and then, uh, yeah, we could learn from that dude over there, but whatever. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Tony here hanging out with you. Have a great rest of your day and week and weekend. Peace. Have a good one. Cheers. And uh, peace out, JD. Let's touch, let's touch base later um, and, uh, and catch up. I got I to gotta get to work. I got to make some van videos and um and get some other things done all right guys thank you for tuning in have a good one peace out tony here hanging out in my garage <laughs> see you guys next week laters